And I'm John. Um, we're up at the cabin and we're going to do some food pairings. We're going to pair up some Pinot Grigio with some scallops. You know and how easy it is because we're working in a smaller environment. So we're going to start this way. What you want to do is you want to take a little bit of chicken stock and um, you're going to put a half a cup of chicken stock into a pan. Just like that. And we kind of cheat with the chicken stock. Then we're going to put a little bit of Pinot Grigio because that's you know one of the nice wines that does go with the, the scallops. And we're going to put a quarter cup in. Oh, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> We're going to add to that some, uh, the juice of a half of a lemon. I'm using the strainer so that we don't get the seeds going into um, our sauce. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to put in about a clove, no that's a little bit more than a clove, one, one clove of, of garlic and we're going to put in about a, two tablespoons of, of onions or shallots. The recipe says one but we're going to use two just because I like onions. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to let this just sort of simmer and reduce down so that it most of the juice is, has actually gone. In the meantime, what we're doing is we're cooking up some uh, quinoa. And the quinoa, what we've done is we've actually rinsed it off because you don't want the harshness or the, uh, the, the bitterness of the quinoa to, to cook in there. We've put in a little bit of, uh, we've cooked it in with the uh, chicken stock. And you cook it the same as you do rice one part quinoa, two parts chicken stock or water, and we're using chicken stock. And we've got our pan ready for the asparagus. Um, it only takes about four minutes, so it's just sort of warming up a little bit. Um, and then we're just going to work on this here and let it reduce down. All right, now you can see that most of the juice has been reduced down, and that's just going to concentrate the flavors, so it's going to make it even a whole lot better. We're going to add some butter to that, and while the butter is actually melting, what we're going to do is we're going to, with the, the boiling water in here, we're going to add our asparagus, because asparagus takes about four minutes. Now I've trimmed the bottoms off, we're just going to let it steam there. While this is melting, I just want to let you know we have, over on the other side, we've taken our sea scallops and the size that we use are 10 to 20 and you can figure that this is a pound of sea scallops and you're going to get about 14 somewhere in that range back to the this side here the butter is melting as soon as it's melted we're going to throw the scallops in I've tossed a little bit of butter into the um, quinoa just to richen it up a little bit because it just enhances the flavor and butter makes everything better. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add the scallops and what you're going to want to do is the scallops you're going to cook two minutes per side. If you cook them longer than that then they tend to get a little bit rubbery and it's not nearly as uh, as nice alright so what we've done is we've uh, turned the scallops we've done two minutes on each side and we've drained the asparagus it cooked for about four minutes we've thrown some butter on it and tossed it all up so really now we're ready for uh, just plating um, our, our dinner. So we've got the quinoa. And what I've got here is actually we made uh, a half a cup of quinoa. So you can see it, 
it actually fills up quite nicely. And then we've got the asparagus. Well, that was a mess. Now we're cheating a little bit because we are up at the cabin, uh, so we've got some pre-grated Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle that on a little bit. And now for the, the best part, we've got our scallops. Um, and you want to divvy them up equally because everybody loves scallops, at least we do. And then if you want to add a little bit of the sauce, throw it over top. Because you remember, this sauce is actually butter. And you can throw a little bit on your um, asparagus if you like. <clears throat> and the, make sure that you help yourself out with some Pinot Grigio. And today we've got some Cellar Classic Pinot Grigio. Bon appétit. Thanks.